What's up, YouTube? I'm your host, Deeper Depths, with the Deeper Level Podcast. Do me a favor and smash that like button. Also, hit that subscribe button so that you're notified every time that I upload a new video and more content becomes available on this channel. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Let's go. <music> What is up, YouTube? It is your host, Deeper Depths, with The Deeper Level. I'm recently returning back from vacation. We had a wonderful time in Anaheim, California. Today, I have more news on Marvel Snap. This actually was released officially on Twitter by Ben Brode, who is the Chief Development Officer at Second Dinner and is partially responsible for Marvel Snap. He released a statement on their Discord server officially, but he also shared it on an update on his Twitter and it says hey everyone we are still working on what our future monetization slash new card plans might look like but we know for sure that they are not Nexus events we were able to sneak out an emergency patch to disable all future Nexus events once the current one ends on Monday this patch also reverts the change to credit bundle purchases that came with Nexus events updates you will again be able to use gold to purchase multiple credit bundles in the shop each day these changes are just a first step that we could implement quickly. We're continuing to work on the path forward and we'll keep y'all updated along the way. We're trying to work fast here, so I'm hoping that we can provide more updates earlier next week. Now, I must say kudos to Second Dinner and Ben Brode for at least acknowledging that the whole Nexus event thing was mishandled. We do understand, to be fair, that this is a mobile game and like any other Marvel mobile game, it has to be monetized. The company does have to have some system in order for the game to be profitable. We do understand that, to be fair, but we just know that the monetization from Nexus events was not the way to handle this game. But the fact that they stepped up and have released an official statement and basically said, hey, we're sorry, we apologize, we totally Totally mishandled that shows us that we have a company that again has listened to the fan base and are taking things in a positive step towards the right direction we do understand things like this take time to fix but at least we have some type of communication here and they were not silent throughout the process to let us know that that is totally changing and things are going to look much different in the future so let me know your thoughts let me know what you think about this let me know if you're going to continue to play marvel snap or if the way that nexus events were handled was just too much for you in the last draw and you decided to part ways there i had already made the decision before they came out with nexus events or after they came out with nexus events rather that i was still going to continue to play the game but i was only going to do it from a free to play aspect i didn't want to spend any money on it and decided that hey whatever cards i could pick up uh on the progression tower by simply just playing the game for free that's exactly what i was going to do but we see here that they've acknowledged it and they made a step in the right direction and i look forward to seeing what they put their heads together with to come up with for the new monetization system moving forward let me know your thoughts and your comments again thank you for liking and subscribing thank you for also hitting that notification bell so that you're updated every time that i post new content once again i'm back from vacation so we're getting back to the grind we are on our way to 1,000 subscribers on youtube please help us reaching our goal by hitting that sub button we're going to be doing a big giveaway at 1,000 subscribers which i will keep each and every person posted on that once again i'm your host deeper depths and this is the deeper level thank you for tuning in and we will see you again on the next video Peace.